Hey, brother, how you doing? Hey, mate, how are you? All right. Wow, you look luminescent over there. Look at that green. <laughs> oh. That was the old green screen I put up. Yeah. Can you hear me fine? Yeah, I can hear you great, mate. Yeah. Because you were just I just snazzy. got, snazzy I just got a web. <laughs> I just got a webcam today. Yeah. And uh, we tried it with my sister-in-law. But the audio didn't sound right, so I clipped on the lavalier. So I don't know. I still don't know which one's working. Okay. But apparently it must sound okay. But how you doing, brother? I'm good, mate. Good. Yeah. It's been a hectic day. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Light socket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, those videos were pretty funny, man. <laughs> that was funny what Reese said. I have to reply because Hector's rolling around on the floor laughing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I really was too. <laughs> now the dolls, yeah, that. I, I'm I'm gonna have to talk to you about that one, man. <laughs> now you have all boys, right? Yeah. You yeah. got one little girl. Yeah. So what are you doing with dolls, man? Because I know those ain't hers. <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, they're hair cutting. They're hair cutting mannequins, mate. Oh, okay, the okay. I got get the kids practice and they do blow dries and. Oh. Yeah, no, they're not I... mine. Not <laughs> <laughs> into dolls, mate. Uh, that's the first thing I thought. Like, what was that guy doing with dolls, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And they got okay. little names. <laughs> they got little names on their neck too. So. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So. Hair cutting mannequins, they call. Them. Now, like, is that hair that you can, like, replace or? Some of them are real hair and some of them are horse hair. And when the kids go to TAFE, they get a few of them. Some of them have uh, beards as well and they'll learn how to cut beards. And Oh, so, really? Hmm. We generally don't get them to cut them because they don't grow back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just get them to blow dry and style oh. and updos and things like that. Okay. So, That's pretty cool. And I was just cutting hair one day and I thought, I could get the dollies to talk. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> One of my. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I'm no, that was some... pretty good though, man. Yeah. I got the. Uh... I don't know how to do it now, but the software came with like the the eye bulging deal and <laughs> yeah. and all that. But usually it came up the last time. It didn't this time. So yeah. has a wig and everything. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, I was going to answer the phone with the wig on, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming up, and I'm afraid if I'll, let me see if I can get it. Baby. <laughs> it's a baby. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. So have you had uh, sunset there yet? Have you? Yeah, it's on uh, 9 o'clock oh. right now. So, so sunset like was about 7, usually it's been getting earlier, so it's been like 7.30, hmm. 7.33 is when usually sunset hits and stuff like that. Hmm. So. Fantastic. So the kids so, all do the trumpets? Yeah, no, we don't have no shofars, yeah, not we, yet. <laughs> we just have a plastic thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we don't. Roll holder. Yeah. Yeah. That's too much noise right now, by the way. <laughs> I have all of them blowing that thing. But uh, some friends of ours, they let us borrow their shofar. Hmm. And um, they they had the antelope one, you know, the really long shofar. They had one of those. And I had a hard time blowing on that one. I guess that's a little harder. But then they had a little ram's horn. Yeah. And uh, they let us borrow it for about a week or two and... We got to blind on that thing. That was just so <laughs> stop <laughs> too much. Yeah. But I mean, it's pretty cool. But we're gonna be going to the Feast of Tabernacles in Missouri, and they're gonna have a little thing there where you get to make your own shofar. So, wow. that yeah, that'd be pretty cool to do that. Mm -hmm. So, we've been wanting to get one, and saw the one Colin has. No, it's not. Yeah, that's. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So that's that's pretty cool. I I, I would want to get something like that. <laughs> but yeah, the pocket book right now is 
yeah. won't want to allow something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. but when I heard that they were going to be able to make your own, I thought, man, that's pretty cool, you know, to be able to mm. cut clean and do whatever to your own shofar. So mm. that's going to be pretty cool to see what it's like. Yeah. So I'll get one then. Mm. But, yeah, we don't have a shofar right now. Yeah, we don't either. We just find one of those little plastic things each year for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> We we saw one group. They were making it out of paper mache. That's clever. Yeah, they were using like the chicken wire to uh, shape it, and then they did the paper mache over it, and they they got to paint it and stuff like that. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That's a pretty good idea. Nice yeah. little arts and crafts things for the kids, you know. Yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, that was neat. So we're pretty excited about going to the Feast of Tabernacles. It's been. This last week, last couple of weeks has been very, last month has been very tribulous, if you will. Yeah. Um, on Labor Day, we got into a car wreck uh -huh. and uh, they totaled our vehicle. So, yeah, it was, a, we had a Suburban and um, it's gone. I mean, we were going straight, lady was making a left on the intersection and she just, started making her turn too soon and hit us on the rear end mm. and the rear tire and, and that was all um, Yahuwah right there how I mean because she hit us on the back and, and the back wheel actually drove on top of her car I mean she damaged this the the rim on the tire she broke a piece off of it she hit the axle and the Suburban, I was driving, my daughter was here, and my son, we had three seats, you know. Mm. And when she hit, my Suburban came up like this. Mm. And I thought I ran over the curb. And all I can remember is I'm seeing the asphalt and I'm seeing the curb and the other side of the street. And... Nor you know, I've been into car wrecks before, mm. and normally I pass out, you know, I until so it's all over, and I didn't this time. I I was aware the whole time. I just I didn't know what I was doing, and I cranked the wheel, and I stayed in my lane. It was a th you know two lane highway. I stayed in my lane the whole time. I didn't even know and. We had just gotten brand new tires all the way around like mm. a couple weeks before because mm. the tires we had on were, they were fairly bald. Mm. And I strongly believe had we still had the same tires, it would have been a whole different situation. Mm. You know? And had I slammed on the brakes, I think it would have mm. flipped or at least landed on my side. And I, I just can't believe I didn't. In fact, by the time I got on the road, I kept coasting for a while before I realized, oh, my gosh, I thought I hit the curb. So I stopped. And when I got out, my daughter was like, all the kids were screaming. I got out and I realized I had gotten hit, you know. And when I looked behind me, I see the lady, her front end of her car was totally just out all over in the intersection and I still had air in my tire you know the tire that she hit a chunk of it was broke off and that was Yahuwah's hand on that the whole time man it was just the fact that nobody got hurt but uh it's been the you know this has been going on for the finally Friday uh, just this past Friday uh, the insurance company, they totaled the vehicle. It was going to be some 11000 in repairs. And they paid my, my loan off. And we called our credit union. So they're going to allow us to get another vehicle. Oh, fantastic. And, I was going to say, yeah. did you have insurance? That's great. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. We had insurance. She Give had a car. <laughs> well, yeah. It, it's just so yeah. close. You know what I mean? We're like, we thought we weren't going to be able to go to the Feast of Tabernacles and yeah. 
Yeah. No money, you know, and, and now it's just the way the father's just working things out, but it's like hmm. he cuts it so close, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come on, man, you, you, you can't be doing this to us. <laughs> but, hmm. you know, we're, we're just believing that uh, well, right now we're, you know, we took a long time searching this vehicle. Hmm. We're pretty, you know, pretty big family, like you know. Hmm. And... But we're praying for a new vehicle, you know, that the father just, because we have a rental now until the end of this week. After that, we have no more rental, so we kind of, so it would be just like the father to wait till Friday before we get a vehicle, mm. you know, it's just, so it's just, yeah. but, so, you know, if you can keep that in your prayers for mm. us, you know, just that we find a vehicle at the the right vehicle at a great price, you know, and that way, you know, we, we had friends, they let us borrow a bunch of tents and mm. beds and stuff like that, so for Sukkot, you know, and um, I'll be putting my vacation time in tomorrow, mm. so Father's going to make a way, you know, mm. somehow we're going to get there, mm. so, but... Yeah, it's been pretty interesting, been pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> if well, I had hair, it look like that. <laughs> it's, I'm uh, just messing with you, man. Don't take it personal. No, 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 it's fine. I, uh, it's, it's all a test, isn't it? Yeah, it is, you know. How and are you going to handle yourself in the when things are a little bit stressful? <laughs> How I, are you going to behave? I, but at first, <laughs> I, I'll be honest. Mm. I went a little berserk, and it, it took a, it's, you know, it's just, it hits you like, man, you know what, really, he can't take care of this, you know? Yeah. I mean. Of course he can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You then, know? You don't, then you don't learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, hey, um, how's uh, things with your... Uh, your salon and all that coming along. Well, um, we were concerned too a few weeks ago because the uh, the lease is about to run out on our house, and you know all these things were culminating. And you who should just sent along a buyer for the salon. No drama. We bought the salon, and we hand over the key in two weeks, and then. The caravan arrived at the same time, bang, because that's been held up for, you know, months and months just uh, waiting. The, the pop-up? Yeah, the pop-up. That's been okay. held up. So that finally arrived, and there's no dramas there. And then uh, what else happened? The uh, yeah, salon sold, the, you know, and we can't get a car until we sell a salon. So it's all happening at the same time, and we're going to be moving out right on the dot of when our lease runs out here. So yeah. it's just, uh, we just look at it and go, this is the kind of relationship he wants to have with us, one where we just, we know he's in control of everything. And when we're not quite sure or we don't understand the situation, we'll still behave ourselves. <laughs> because yeah. cause even last night, like, we were trying to put the annex up. And it was way too late to start. The sun was already starting to go down. I'm like, yeah, let's go. And it was supposed to be blowing shofars at sunset. And I said, no, let's, just, let's go and try and set up this annex. Because we never set up the annex on the side. And do you think they would give us any instructions? <laughs> of course not. Because yeah, everybody knows how to put up an annex. <laughs> so, now, annex, that, that's a tent, that's, right? It's a tent that joins, okay, yeah. joins on the side. And... Uh, <laughs> so I'm just in there and I'm just fuming because I you spend all this money and they don't even give you any instructions. How am I supposed to know there's like 20, 30 poles and <laughs> where do they all go? And all the different size pieces of fabric and everything like that. And so I'm just fuming. <laughs> and Amy's like, calm down, calm down. So this is just disgusting. You know, how, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to put a tent? I don't know how to put this up, you know. Oh, the other thing you should know is I'm one of those people who can't hammer a nail in straight, so I I had no idea about anything. I'm a hairdresser, yeah. mate, so it's um I'm just going. Where's the instructions? Anyway, so by the time we actually got in to blow the shofars, and you know the kids were all 
hyped up and psycho and I was just not in a good mood and so we we briefly went through the feast but I just thought I was disappointed afterwards because I just thought oh, you know how many times a year are we called to do a feast and I was in the just the wrong frame of mind because of this annex <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I, uh, I you know I was just in a I repented after that. <laughs> just, just, just thought, oh, my behaviour is just disgusting. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, and I thought, well, every time of year when the feast comes up, things are always trying to get in the way to sort of take your joy. Yeah. And uh, so I realised it happened again and I failed. So every year, that's why they're the redemptive feasts, I guess. Each year you get better at them. Yeah. And, uh, so... Yeah, I realised that he was wanting a certain behaviour from me and uh, when things get tough or pressure or things like that or you've got to learn something new, <laughs> look how to put up a tent. I uh, <laughs> don't, don't always handle it the best. So uh, yeah. it's, everything's a test. Everything's a test. How are you going to behave? How are you going to go through it? And the thing is you realise, like you said, he strings you out. He does. He strings us out to make us aware of, to make us want him. So to, then when it finally happens, you go, there's no way I could have made that happen. There's that, there's no room for any, that was me. That was, yeah. you know, aren't I good? Aren't I wonderful? Like Amy's the one who's right into all the bills and into, you know, what we need for this situation, what that situation. And she can't believe it. She's, she's been really highly strung until the last few weeks. And she just said to me last night, I'm just enjoying this so much because I can see every week I make this little list of things that we just need to get on top of financially and Yahusha just, you know, it might only, he might only bring in exactly that much, you know, no room for any, you know, going crazy, but just like she's having this relationship where she's watching him do things and uh, we've never been in that relationship before. It's always been whinging and complaining and, you know, <laughs> Um, not really believing. Um, um, so for us to sort of be in that relationship, we think, well, yeah, he doesn't promise us an easy ride, but he promises that he'll look after us, you know? Yeah. And so um, that kind of relates to your story. I thought I'd talk about it because we've been going through that too. And the more people I talk to and you realise he's doing the exact same thing with every person that's in the bride because how does the bride get perfect? If she's never put any put in any under any sort of stress or uh, testing trial, he, he's 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 preparing, he's preparing us, you know, because it, it, you know we we used to read the scriptures and <clears throat> especially revelations, you know, and I I sometimes go back and think the sermons that my dad preached the sermons that I've heard from other people and the books that I've read and everybody just had their idea, pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib, you know, it's like, I mean, you know, are we all reading the same book here or what, you know? And then, but when you're in that circus, you just think, you know, everybody has a way to explain it all away, mm. you know? And, and now the father is just, He's revealing, he's opening up minds, he's preparing hearts, mm. you know, and now when you read it, it's like, it's this understanding, you, you see what's going on, you see what's happening, you know, the situation in Libya, and mm. I mean, it's just like, wow, you know, mm. I mean, the, and then it just, you just, the father just opens it up and it's like, wow, you know, it, it's, You've heard it before. Oh, he's right around the corner and repent, you know. And but no, this time it's it, it's not that you're hearing it. It's wow, you're seeing it. You know, it's happening. I mean, it's it's going on, and it's been going on. You know, and we we just been so caught up in our own little world and our own little. Look at me, you know, uh, you know that that we don't pay attention to what the Father has been showing us this whole time. Mm -hmm. You know, we we sit here and we think it's new revelation, mm -hmm. and it's not. 
it, it, it's been there the whole time. He's been speaking to you the whole time, but we've just been so caught up in ourselves and our own little world that we don't hear his voice, you know. Just like the scripture says, it's a still small voice, you know. And if we just shut our pie holes every once in a while and listen, we would hear him, you know. And it, it's, you, you start, and you know, and, and I used to fear the end. Like, oh my gosh, you know, all this is going to happen. Oh, you know, which one do I want to believe? Do I want to believe the post trip? Do I want to believe this, you know? And, and it's like, which one sounds really good? <laughs> but it, it, it's, it just makes sense, you know what I mean? When, when, when you start seeing, when the Father opens up your, your eyes and he opens up your heart, you, I mean, there's nothing to fear, you know? And, and that's been the whole problem all this time is then preachers get up there and, and they fear you to repentance, you know what I mean? They fear you to tithe and, and all this garbage, you know? And it's like... Scare tactics. Yeah, I mean... It's like, and you see, and that that scripture, you know, narrow is the way really comes to life. You know how narrow that way really is. Mm -hmm. You know, and and it's so it's that's kind of scary. You know, it really is because so many people are. I mean, they just don't don't get it. You know, and I speak to relatives. You know, and. I'm like, hello, you know. I mean, can't you see what's happening? Can't you see what's going on? It, it's, no. you know, it, and it's, you know, I used to be the kind of guy that I've always wanted to excel at work, you know, make the most money and, you know, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It, it, it's, do we want to store up treasure for ourselves down here or in the heavenlies, you know? Mm. Th th this, all this stuff doesn't matter. It, it, it's, mm. it's just going to go up, poof, yeah. in flames, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's like it's a two-sided coin. I mean, Yahushua wants us to tarry on and uh, occupy and, and uh, be wise managers yeah. and not just squander everything away. But on the other hand, he, he will protect us, you know? So we've always used the excuse that he's coming back to just not store up anything, party on, yeah. you know, and, and eventually he he sort of stops the flow of the income and he and you go, where's the party? You know what's going on, you know, yeah. and so you realise in the beginning he's sort of he's sort of helping you a lot, and then he sort of he expects he expects things, he expects a response, correct response, he expects good behaviour, like a certain behaviour and. He expects his bride to be performing a certain way, and if you don't, it's a, it's a real relationship. That's what they won't tell them in inside the religions. They won't tell them it's a real relationship because if they told them all to go home and have a real relationship, you know, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. you don't need yeah, us. Just go home and listen. Hey, <laughs> that's it. You know, you'll know yeah. if he's not happy with it. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel it. Oh man, it, it's yeah. You know, don't don't feel bad. It's I I haven't, you know, I oh I was awful. I was treating my wife real bad, you know, and my kids. I was just so stressed out, you know, and just and it's you know we're men, you know what I mean. And as men, we feel that we got to have control. Yep. And and the father just is teaching us, hey, it, it's not about you, you know. It, it's I'm doing this, you know. And that's where I'm having a hard time is letting go and just let him take the steering wheel, you know. But I better get my act together real quick because <laughs> it hurts, you know. And uh, but you know. We get back up and we move. You know what I mean? We can't. Mm. I, I can't sit here and, oh, I was so bad. Oh, I did this. Oh, shame on me. Mm. You know, 
Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, I apologize to my wife. I apologize to the kids. We get back up and we move on, yep. you know, and mm. get back on the horse. And, yep. and and ever, I mean, it's just, we had friends that came over today and <laughs> they just gave us a hundred bucks, you know. Wow. It's like, here. I'm like, what's this? And, and you know, it. We we just, it's not like we needed it, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not, it's not I mean, who can't use a hundred bucks? Yeah. But it's not like we were desperate. Hmm. Can you hear me? You cut out. Sprint, you know, so, uh, ah, yeah. you froze. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Right. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. But. You know, they, I mean, it's like, and, and we felt guilty there for a minute. It's like, man, why, did, why are they giving us a hundred bucks? I mean, it's not like we don't need it. You know, there's other families out there that really need it. Mm-hmm. And their thing was, in Debrum 16, 16, 16, and I still have to read more on it because I'm not quite sure. I think it has to do with money. You know what I mean? But it says uh, three times a year are your meals appear before Yahuwah, your Elohim, in the place which he chooses. At the festival of un- of unleavened bread, and at the festival of weeks, and at the festival of booths. And none should appear before Yahuwah empty-handed. Hmm. So that was their their uh their That's reasoning awesome. yeah for gifting you know so they said they were going up that they weren't gonna go empty handed so I mean we were like wow you know it, it, it's the father's taking care of things you know and That's a lovely way to live actually. <laughs> yeah. Going anywhere don't go empty handed <laughs> <laughs> always be always be willing to give something instead of waiting for a handout. Yeah, exactly. Yes, we'd like to get, be like that. Yeah. So. And, uh, but, I mean, you know, it's like, wow, you know, and mm-hmm. I, I just, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I mean, that's cool, you know. It, he lets it's you just, know. Yeah. He it lets just, you know in the little things that he's right there with you. Yeah. I mean, it literally left us speechless, you know, for like the longest time. It's like, I mean, it took us a few hours to like. It's like, wow, man, you know how how awesome the father is that. In little ways, hey, man, I'm taking care of this. Don't worry, you know, just stay focused, stay focused on him, and that's it. And. And the news about your car came in yesterday, did it? Friday. Right before the feast. Yeah. Who's whispering right. in your ear? You're get you're getting wiretapped. <laughs> you're getting <laughs> you're getting secret answers in your ear. Man, listen, uh, you know, I and I was just like, man, Shabbat's coming up, and I yeah. really don't want to be thinking about this. Mm. And I mean, and you know, that was a really nice that all all of it got settled. Mm. You know, our loan got settled, and I mean, it even put a few bucks in our bank account. You know, mm. I was like, oh. mm. just so it was this this Shabbat was a really good Shabbat, you know, and mm. well. Yeah, who is awesome, man? You know, it's he really is, and he's a loving father, merciful father. You know, and it's just pretty cool. So, two weeks, you guys hit the road. Two weeks, I hand the keys over to the salon, and so then I'll have two weeks at home full time just to pull everything apart. That's the other thing we I forgot to mention before. All the stuff we thought we were going to have to sell. Well, this is not just moving house. We're like getting rid of everything. We've got to leave an empty house. And we're thinking, that's going to take forever just to sell and get rid of everything and take things to the tip and take things, you know. And Amy rang up last week and said, somebody's moved in down the road and, and they came to buy our chest freezer. And they said, um, we've just moved into, into a house and we don't have any furniture. Can we buy that lounge? Can we buy this? Can we buy that? Can we buy this? Can we buy that? 
And she rung me up all nervously, thinking I'd be angry because, like, I'm coming home to empty house. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said, "You're kidding me? <laughs> That's fantastic!" You know? Wow. And uh, not because I didn't want, she didn't think I'd be angry because it's empty, but because we still got another. Back then, it was like another five or six weeks to live. You know? Yeah. And I got home, and the dining table was gone. <laughs> the chairs, <laughs> sitting, watching some TV, sitting down on a mattress. <laughs> it's like. But who cares? It's like all this stuff's just walked out the door and we're just like, wow. every little concern we had, and this is what Amy was talking about, she's like every little, she said even things I haven't even thought to pray about yet, but I've sort of thought about, um, she, she just, are just happening. And so that's how we kind of know that this is meant to be happening, you know. Um, that's, I, I envy you guys, man. That is so well, awesome. Well, it's the same for everybody. It's, everybody's yeah. in the same thing. I'm realizing, you know. What are you envying us for? Look at you guys getting a new car. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. You. <laughs> yeah, that's really great, man. That's, yeah. yeah, I'm freaking out. You know, I was freaking out that we weren't going to be without a vehicle. Mm. So my wife says, Catch the bus. Look at Mark and Amy. <laughs> They've been doing it without a car. I don't care about Mark and Amy. They're on the <laughs> other side of the world. <laughs> we don't have a vehicle, woman. <laughs> oh, man, I was freaking out. Well, they're doing just fine. Well, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like about you, mate. You tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I, I, I mean, I really wigged out, but yeah. I'm like, you know what? Whatever, you know? Yeah. But yeah, no, man, that is yeah. awesome, bro. Yeah, I'm so happy for you guys. Mm. You know, and that's yeah. that's where we want to do eventually. You know, that's why we bought the suburban because it tows. I don't know if you you know what a suburban is down there. No. No. Oh man, suburban is like a really big vehicle. Mm. It seats like a, nine. Like a van or a four wheel drive. It's like a four wheel drive. It's an SUV. Yeah. Um. But this one we had seats nine people. Mm. I mean, and it can tow a 20 footer, mm. you know, or 25 foot camper. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, like we were ready, you know. We, were, mm. we even called the credit union for a, uh, a pre approval for an RV yeah. or uh, RV mm. camper. And. They said, well, they didn't say no, but they didn't say yes. Mm. You know, they said, well, we need to know what you're getting first, and then we can work out the details. Yeah. And then this happened. Mm. You know, so it's like, wow, you know. But you know what? It's okay, man. It's, mm. But that's what we would like to do, man, It's just go on the road full time. And, you know, and it's like, but, man, what are we going to do? How are we going to? You know, and it just one day it just hit us, man, to be able to go out on the road and get a bunch of scriptures, mm. a bunch of fossilized customs, you know, and just go go see people that need help. You know what I mean? You go to campsite from campsite, somebody's going to be broke down, fix their flat tire, tune up their engine. Hey, you know, check out this book, you know, and mm. here's the scriptures, you know, and you know, and minister in that way, you know, if, and I was like, yeah, man, you know, that's, that's spreading the word, you know, that's getting it out there, and time is short, you know, time is really short, and. Well, he doesn't send you out um, blind, that's what we realized, he doesn't, yeah. he's, he wants us to count the cost in every situation, particularly with a large family. It's like, yeah, we're going out to preach the gospel. <laughs> you, end up, <laughs> you end up by the side of the road with nothing and you're yeah. homeless and hungry. Like that's not he, he. He doesn't sort of. He wants us to count the cost. Like you, um, he'll give you ideas. Uh, he'll give you like, well, in our situation, like I can just cut here anywhere. But it's um, like, are you in? Like, are you tied into a situation now? Like, are you in a lease with your house? Are you in a lease with your shop like can you just up and walk out any time or do you have to sit? so we had to wait for the salon to sell we're like in a yeah. corner that's where our, most of our stress came from we were like till the salon sold you can't just walk out because a we couldn't afford anything and you can't just leave a shop 
you, you got to sell it. You got to hand over the lease to a new buyer, and and the house wasn't much of a problem. We just wait for the lease to run out. But is yeah. that is it similar for you or? No, we just have a we rent a townhouse. Yeah. You no, know, and where I work, it's just a golf course. Most people don't realize that. You know, I I just work at a golf course, and. <clears throat> I'm I'm just the only mechanic there, you know. So I can just say, hey, uh, putting in my two weeks. Oh, I see. So all the equipment in your shop is theirs. Oh no 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 no! All the tools, all that stuff you see in the videos, that's all my stuff. So you would so, have to you'd either have to get a massive trailer and be mobile, or you'd have to sell it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's. Mobile well, mechanic. What's wrong with the mobile mechanic? I mean, you well, could, ex that's what we plan on doing. You could put like a massive, big ass trailer thing on the back of something and, and have like a <laughs> and be like mobile. I don't know. I'm <laughs> just thinking out loud. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what. Yeah. The see the videos that I do, I do them for Turfnet.com, and there it's it's a the golf industry. You know, superintendents, greenskeeper, mm. and mechanics. Mm. And so I used to do them myself and just put them on YouTube mm. for other mechanics. Mm. And so they saw my videos and they were like, hey, how would you like to put your, you know, can we buy your videos? And I'm like, wow. buy your, I go, really? Oh, yeah, you know. And I was going to ask but, you, is that like a hobby or do you get paid for it? Yeah, they, they, they pay me $500 for each video. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That, I mean, it's... Videos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> videos. I know. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, dude, yeah. that's just been a blessing, yeah. you know, for that to come along. And, and, you know, and that's how I was able to attain a lot of the equipment that I did, mm. you know. And so I have a 12-month con 12 contract with them. And Jacobson Turf Equipment... One of the biggest manufacturer of turf equipment, they sponsor my videos. Mm -hmm. So we went to Atlanta, Georgia, and talked to some of the guys, and they was like, "Well, Hector, you know, we've been thinking about the next big thing, and we would like to." I don't know if you guys ever. I'm sure you have. I mean, like uh, Extreme Makeover. You ever heard of that show? Yeah. With Ty Pennington and how they go and redo somebody's house. Okay. Well, they want to, they want to do the same thing for Hector's shop. Is go to different shops and just renovate the whole shop, mm -hmm. and make a show out of it. Yeah. So I would, we would be on the road. I'm mm -hmm. like, man, that's perfect. You know, that's mm -hmm. what we want to do. Buy a camper, be on the road. So that would be one avenue that we could make money. Is this a big company? Or like, are they? Is this like a massive company? Because that will look after you or? Oh it's yeah, a bunch of guys. No, no, no. It, it's a it's a very professional company. It's um, they manage. Yeah, it's pretty big. So they, they look they after all your tools and everything. You wouldn't have to take them with you. They'll well, take them with them. <laughs> yeah, well, we we would be doing the trapping ourselves. Yeah. yeah, that would be pretty cool though. Wow. If they would do that, but yeah, I mean, it's just an idea right now. Yeah. You know, and uh, I still have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four more videos before my contract is up. Yeah. So I do one video each month. Mm -hmm. So, you yeah. know, I mean, who knows where the father's going to take that, you know. Is that because it takes you a month to do it or because you can only do, they'll only pay you one month? Um, well, if you did one a week, I don't think one, one a month. Why? I could you can make more well, money. They, well, I know. It's just, it takes a lot of time. A lot of time. Yeah, it's, to, you know, to, I'm new at this. Yeah. You know, yeah. this, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm a mechanic by trade. Yeah. You know, and I know that Colin just finished school, I guess, for automotive. Yeah. And I don't know how the automotive industry is right now, but if he wants to start working as a mechanic... He needs to start looking into the golf industry because we are in dire need of mechanics. Really? And he could get a job like that oh. right now making pretty good money, 
you know, mm. but just an idea, buddy, you know. <laughs> I'm sure he, he lives, I think, what, three hours from here? He, yeah, he's about three, four, five hours from here, but there's a few courses hiring in this area that, you know, they're paying pretty good, pretty good wages, and wow. with his schooling, it, it wouldn't take him much. But, so, you know, who knows? I mean, well, and, you know, I'm, yeah, it, it is. It is exciting, and here lately, you know, I do the videos, and I'm like, man, I wish there was a way that I could somehow minister through the videos, mm -hmm. you know, but I can't really get up there and say, all right, before we, you know, change the oil real quick, <laughs> <laughs> we can't really be doing that. Just you do know? a separate thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, so, you, with the, with the setup you got... Like your green screen, like that's like, and all your all these cameras and hoops and whistles and all this stuff you're showing. I'm going, I don't even know what that stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> I have like one webcam. <laughs> yeah, you know? no, I mean it's not that much stuff. It yeah. really is. It, it, it's you know how to make real movies. <laughs> yeah, no, a lot of this stuff I made up myself. You know, mm. yeah. this is just poster board. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I. You can see the same. Yeah. That's just Walmart, 50 cents each, buddy, you know? Yeah. Frugal all the way. <laughs> <laughs> but you make it work, you know? And mm. it's about the finished product in the end. I mean, yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. So now, have you popped up your camper yet? or? Yeah. yeah. We've, um, I don't know if you can see it out there. Let me see it. Can I spin this around? Can you see out there? Out there. Oh, it's, okay, it's up. I lost my earpiece. <laughs> I can't hear you. There we go. Yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know it works. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. So, like, how many does this? Could you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's just the annex. That big thing you saw. The um, the actual van was behind the corner. That's just attached to the side of it. Like the awning. Yeah, we went out after, an after my rage yesterday, we went out today in the sunlight and, and did a second attempt and worked out, yeah, we worked it all out, you know, how to do it. So oh, we know how to do it now, it's great. Yeah. Oh, it's not easy, I know. <laughs> we had a little one. Mm. We had a little one and, mm. yeah, I understand. <laughs> so, but uh, that you'd put the annex out if you were going to stay, like, for a few weeks or whatever. Just, yeah. for, just for overnight, you just pull up. Put the brake on, you know, wind it up, pull the beds out, and you know, you sleep in there. But if you're yeah. going to stay somewhere for a few weeks, you put the annex out, and we're getting a um, a little toilet and shower tent little thing as well, because there's a hot water system on the outside, which is also Ooh. great. Which is also great if I um, if say clients come along that want a hair color, they want to put a color in their hair. I've got a little basin that sort of bends back it's just a chair and a basin and you can rinse the hair off so otherwise yeah, most cool. most of it will be hair cutting but occasionally I'll offer it if they want and uh, so you do it that way as well and uh, then just like a screened enclosure marquee just to eat in with no floor so, yeah because there's all the kids you don't want to be sweeping the floor all the time so the food scraps and stuff can go on the ground so. now have you camped out before when anybody? I was a kid, we used to camp all the time, but oh, uh, okay. get rusty a bit now, <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> relearning. Re yeah, so, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm a city boy. I've never, when I met my wife, you know, we moved to Florida and we stayed in a tent for what, like a month, a couple months. We lived in a tent until I got a job and hmm. we finally got a place and. Yeah, that was a hard lesson learned there. You know, we would leave the tent open, we'd go to work, and it would rain really hard. We'd come back to our bed floating around in our tent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
They was they they used to call us the tent people in the camping <laughs> house. <laughs> Trailer trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what they call them over here yep. yeah we go so, trailer trash man that's funny so, so now you guys are just gonna full-time camp then huh yeah the plan is to um uh the brand of caravan we got holds its value really well so our plan is to um in a couple of years or sooner if we can it just depends how much money we can make on the road um we saw this TV show where this family with about 10 kids, I think, they bought a coach. They bought an old coach, you know, like a massive coach, like a bus coach. And they um, pulled, they just gutted the whole thing out. And, you know, there's bunk beds and they even have a spa bath and everything in there. I don't think I'd bother with that. but And, you know, like when you can get to the luggage compartment on the side, yeah. outside the luggage compartment there was a hatch inside that you can get down to the luggage as well they had a bed in there like it's a couple of kids were down in the luggage compartment the beds that's huge so it's and they would just travel around australia and that and and i'm thinking i said to amy that's just the, that's just the coach imagine if you put like a, uh, i don't know if you'd have to get it custom made or go to the army disposal place or whatever. imagine if you had a tent out the side of that the whole size of the coach it's like wow. the size of a house, yeah. but um, but even without that, we're just thinking that would be the way to go, because otherwise the only option would be to um, put roots down, start open up some kind of salon again, which means I'm at work all day and she's at home with the kids, and that was the thing we were getting a bit tired of, you know, yeah. and um, a, a lot of I guess a lot of husbands and wives like that, <laughs> they like being apart for so often because then when they come together they get along, but. We we like we like being together, so it's like we she doesn't like me going to work, and I don't like going to work. It's like I'd rather be with the kids and rather do so. Hitting the road was a nice option. Um, so that's yeah. what I would like to do is just be home full time, you know. Mm. And we've been praying about that, you know, to where I can work at home somehow, mm. you know. And that's how it was meant to be, you know. You mm. work at home and provide and you build upon that for generations you know and yeah. it, it's the way society is set up to be to where the man leaves the home is break, little by little deteriorating and breaking the family up mm. yeah. Yeah. but that's cool well it sounds like you got lots of options coming in all the time it's that's really encouraging yeah it's uh see what the father has in plan you know and mm. We just got to stay focused and stay read up and prayed up. <laughs> and, yeah. you know. Now, the Sickle series. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Pretty clever. Episode like one, it. we filmed it, episode one yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. Nice. So, so. I, uh, I have to wait for, um, for Adam to send me his side of it. Because we're recording it um, separate now. He yeah. records Lou, and I record myself, and then I just put them both together. Um, and uh, now that they've got the brilliant cameras, it's uh, working out uh, well that way. Do, does he email them to you, like in an email? or? Yeah, there's a site called yousendit.com, and you can uh, send, I think you can send up to 50 megabytes for free, and anything over that, I think it might be like $9 a pop. But he's got Adam's got like a monthly membership thing, which I think oh. he I think he clicked that accidentally. But now that he's got it, might as well use it. So that's because yeah. he sends me the seminars each month to upload. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, how's your commercials come along? Well, I, I haven't started yet. <laughs> so I was gonna do uh, with all that's been going on, you know, and uh, but I was gonna start tomorrow. Mm. I was I already was thinking one up. Like with the seat seats, yeah. You know, I was thinking, okay, how would I do that? But after seeing yours, <laughs> <laughs> you can make a wig, and you can have like you'd have to have lots of seat seats to do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have lots of seat seats actually. Yeah. My 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 wife and my kids, we make seat seats, and then well, make we, a wig. Talk about seat seats. With we got seat seats. Wig. <laughs> we were, I was thinking about doing one to where 
like I we I was gonna make like really big long seat seats, you know, <laughs> like a, like the anchor of a rope, a rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like walk out. and trip, you know what I mean? Yeah. And be like, oh, I don't know, and then say something, but yeah. I thought that would have been pretty funny. You might have to and then I saw your videos, and I'm like, well, there goes that idea. You know? <laughs> Oh, those ones were just crazy. They like took. I just oh. push record and go nuts, and then that, like, that was it. Yeah, yeah, no, that was funny, man. I, <laughs> now, I made a comment on that Constantine one. I hope it didn't offend you. Yeah, what Ooh. was it? I, I said, uh, I didn't know Constantine was an Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> you can't offend Aussies, mate. <laughs> 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 Any insight, like, you, any insight you come up with, we've already thought of. Yeah, I, was, I don't know if that was like a bad term or... An Aussie? No, no. Yeah. That's what we call ourselves, mate. Aussies, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And um, we, me and my wife got hooked on this show that we started watching on Netflix, McLeod's Daughters. You ever oh, seen that? Show? That's Australian, is it? Yeah, it oh, was actually okay. filmed in uh, Australia. And that's where we learned the words, you know, bloke and mate. And they used to drive around utes. Yeah. <laughs> Pick out the shalers in my ute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we got hooked on that show, man. We watched the whole thing in yeah. what, under a month. Oh, man, it was terrible. Yeah. But it was a pretty good show. But I was like, man, Australia is just beautiful, you know. And mm. We, that's our dream go down there and visit sometime and check it out oh, that's pretty wonderful. cool yeah. yeah well we were thinking of doing um, we saw a couple of little amateur documentaries that people were doing the game around Australia and just filming where they're going and these were on the different Fox on the different channels cable TV channels yeah and uh, it's like we were thinking they're like they're really amateur the way they're presenting themselves and we thought well, we could do that you know yeah. Like, uh, and then Amy and I were thinking, oh, yeah, but they've got a camera crew and professional cameras and all that sort of thing. We've got our phones. But then I was talking to a client the other day and they said, well, that's what people want these days. They're all into that reality TV, you know, that, yeah. whole, that whole shaky camera Blair Witch sort of stuff. Yeah. They, they said that, is that, that you just, that's what you sell. So we're still thinking about. Uh, how we do it? Maybe get Josiah to host it, and here we are at Ayers Rock. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's and, not uh, a knife. <laughs> That's this not is a knife. knife. <laughs> you know, get a big machete or something. <laughs> seat seats hanging out of it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you Yanks, you Yanks love crocodile Dundee, don't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. He's not really Australian, is he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, uh, he is. Yeah, yeah. he is. That, that's a big thing down here. That's funny. Yeah. That's an old show, though. Haven't watched that in a while. Yeah. But that was pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> but, man, that, that's pretty good, though, man. I'm really happy for you guys. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been full on. Yeah. Mm. Now, mm-hmm. when you say these people are stuffing me around, what's that mean? Is that what I, did I say that? No, I'm just, I, <laughs> well, like, on Amy, when she was selling things on, like, the garage sale online or whatever, yeah. we would see it on the Facebook, and she go, she's made the comment, she said, oh, I'm, I just want to get rid of this stuff, I'm getting tired of people stuffing me around with all this, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, yeah well, stuffing you around means just, um, Stuffing you around. They're, they're, they're not. Uh, <laughs> they're games <laughs> with like, you. Or... <laughs> yeah, they're like they'll, they'll say, hey, we'll come and pick up your fridge and they'll never show up. You know, they're like. They're oh, stuffing, yeah. They're stuffing me around. They're like. Uh, okay, okay. I'm trying to think of a better way to, better way to say it. They're screwing they're, you around. Screwing or... you around. They're screwing you around. Yeah. Or they're uh, you know, trying to scam you or they're, uh, yeah, inconveniencing you. Yeah. Not showing up when they should. Getting stuffed around. Sick of being stuffed around. 
Because, yeah, st stuffing for us means putting... Stuffing, yeah, in a... Yeah. yeah well, that's kind of weird. In a chick, in an animal. <laughs> <laughs> in a turkey. Or a pig or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, could, that's what we call that stuffing, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's different. Yeah. Now, hey, Chris, that guy cracks me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that man is something else. <laughs> It, he's one of those guys where you got to know him to like appreciate him. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Because he comes at you pretty aggressive. Yeah. But and I can see at first how people would misunderstand him or it's take him gift. the wrong way. It's a gift. It's hilarious. It's, yeah. It's wonderful. Well, man, he, he cracks me up. That picture you posted of Luca. Yeah. Uh, that hey man, that kid. Yeah, yeah, he's beautiful family, man. Thanks, you Mike. got beautiful family. Thanks, Mike. And uh, but you said you you made the comment. <laughs> I started laughing, man. You made the comment. Look at my curly hair. I look like Chris. Look like Chris. I go, yeah. It looks like he did it too. <laughs> <laughs> and then he came back with some off the wall comment, and I'm like, oh my gosh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. That really. I <laughs> But he kept going, I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it just dawned on me. He goes, oh, yeah, well, you've been drinking some of that moonshine, some of that liquor of Luca or something. <laughs> and, and then it just, just hit me that your kid's name was named Luca. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, that dude cracks me up, man. He's funny. He, uh, he, taught, he taught us that you should have a sense of the ridiculous. <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's going beyond a sense of humor. It's a sense of the ridiculous. So, That's... and uh, most believers don't have that. <laughs> but yeah. So, and generally, there is generally their reactions is more funny than the actual thing that was said. Yeah. So, no, he he's pretty he's pretty cool, man. I I I'll be honest. At first, I didn't like the guy. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was a real condescending, cocky dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. And. The one time I really got mad at him, and sorry, Chris, <laughs> but, but was when I saw the show with uh, Brother Lou and Sister White, you know, yeah. with Chris and Victoria, yeah. and he started ragging her about her hair, you know, yeah. and you could see, fellas, how it really, yeah. you know, embarrassed. I'm like, oh, oh you know. <laughs> How oh, dare you? What's wrong with that man? He's a hairdresser. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. I'm like, the, the nerves of that guy, you know? Yeah. Oh, man. It was, and he just kept going on and on. And Phyllis, I'm like, I felt so bad for Phyllis, you know? Oh, she needed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But now that I know Chris, you know, yeah. not that I know him, but yeah, he is. I mean, I, I look back and I just start laughing now, you know. Yeah. And uh, what was it, a couple of days ago, I sent him a friend request on Facebook yeah. after that whole ordeal with Luca and all that, you know. Yeah. I go, this guy cracks me up. And I said, I don't think I could say anything to that guy to offend him. Yeah, you, you can't. Know, that, you <laughs> that, you that can't. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> What, yeah. That guy's skin is so thick. Let me do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but I love the guy, man. He's just hilarious. Yeah, he's he fun. Is. Yeah, he's, I like him now. Yeah. But I can see how at first people would take him. Yeah. Yeah, he's the kind of guy you guys got to take with a pinch of salt. You know what I mean? He's, he's funny, man. He's, I love that guy. He's, he cracks me up. Yeah. It's good, you know what I mean, to have a sense of humor like that. It's, yeah. it's just... It's very rare in this experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was and, uh, so serious. This is serious faith. Serious. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That's why they, he's like the litmus test. If they can, yeah. if you can, if you can handle Chris and love him and, and, and love and be in the love, it's a love experience. It's what we're in, isn't it? That's why you come to you, issue because of love. If you, if you got <laughs> yeah. the love, if you got the love, you'll be in the love and you'll understand it. Yeah. And, you know, 
Yeah, he, he sharpens your sword, that's for sure. Speak <laughs> <laughs> yourself. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Yeah. No, but he's he's great, man. He's 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 really not, he's pretty cool. He's funny, man. It, yeah. Teresa says hi to Amy. Reese. Yeah. She told me to tell you to say hi to Amy for her. Oh, my wife's not sneakily listening in. My wife's in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> You're bastard. <laughs> yeah, my, my... What are you in your pajamas or something? Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah. She's like, turn the camera. I don't want him to see the the house. It's all dirty right now. <laughs> Couldn't be worse than our house right now. We're moving. Look at this. Look at that disgusting stuff. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's, normally we do it gradually, but people came yesterday and said, have you got any furniture left? And uh, we're like, well, yeah, there's one shelf there. Quick, get all the stuff off it. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So it's... <laughs> but I know, man. We've been there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Got the kind of pledge real quick, you know. <laughs> Take yeah. the buffing machine to it. Yeah. Man, I hope it sells. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's funny, man. Mm. It's pretty. So you guys are ready, man. You guys are ready to go. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. The best part is you don't have to move anything. No, not this time. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow, we've moved a lot, man. Every time I had to move my own furniture. It just so happens every time we had to make a big move, she was pregnant. That's exactly was always... the same as us. <laughs> exactly yeah. the same as us. I said, Amy's been scrubbing walls for, for weeks. And I, just, I said, this is amazing. This is the first time I, I don't think I'm going to have to clean stuff. Every yeah. time we moved, we were insane up when we were up in Queensland. We used to move every six months. Yeah. And it wasn't for a valid you were. It wasn't for a valid reason. You look in the paper and there'd be another rental and that, that house was better than the one we were in. We're like, let's move. <laughs> it's like, the hell is that crazy? That you know? is. And, then, and then business would go down and we couldn't afford that house so we'd have to move and go lower. <laughs> and then we'd be so depressed being so low, we'd see another house in the paper that was better than ours and we could afford it at that time. So let's move again. It's like, oh yeah. my goodness, it's craziness. That's funny, man. It's insane. Yeah, it's it sucked too because you would have buddies that are moving. And you'd be over there helping them out, you know. <laughs> Comes time for you to move. Who's around? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know. Pretty much like that. Oh day. man. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, every time it's when she's pregnant, and it's always at the eighth, ninth month, yeah. where she really can't do nothing. Yeah. You know. And our hardest move was this last one. When we moved here to Texas, mm. man, Mark, oh, it was tough. Yeah. Because I had to move all my tools mm. basically by myself. Mm. I got to the shop, you know, we had a fork truck over there where I'd loaded them up on the U-Haul. And the deal was I was going to leave them there until we got the U-Haul truck and then move. But we had a... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and but they wouldn't let me keep it there, you know, and so I had to take it to the apartment. Hmm. So for like what two weeks? Oh, for a whole month, we had all my tools, my benches, everything, in our little townhouse. Oh wow! But when I got there, I'm like, how are we gonna get this stuff down? Man, I, dude, I started crying. I, I couldn't unload. I mean, my toolbox literally weighs 1,500 pounds, maybe. Well, how'd you get it up there? What's that? You said, how am I going to get it down? How did you get it up? Na our neighbors. The toolbox. Yeah. Our na oh, no, at work, I got it up with the fork truck. Oh, okay. You know, the, mm -hmm. the, you know got under the toolbox, lifted it up, and pushed it mm -hmm. in the trailer. Yeah. When we got home with the trailer, I didn't have that pork truck. Yeah, of course. You know, and mm -hmm. it was really late at night. It was like 11, 12 o'clock in the morning, and I was tired. I was frustrated because it was just a big ordeal. I mean, it was just a raw ordeal. 
And I literally did not know what to do. I, it was at that point where I was like, how am I going to do this? Usually, I can figure it out. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, and do a deck and put it in there, push it out, take the deck. But then I had three steps to go into the apartment, and our neighbors just came out. Hey, you need help? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I need help. <laughs> I, it was just, man, you know, and it's, we came here, right? We moved in, we camped, we had a camper, smaller one than yours, and we camped for about two weeks. Then we got this townhouse, and this was the easiest move we ever made. We walked in, threw our packs back down, and that was it. <laughs> we were moved in, buddy. And now we got all this stuff. Yeah. I was like, how do we get all this stuff, man? You know, I mean, it just adds up fast. Hmm. But we were planning on moving again. November is the end of our lease. Hmm. You know, we were planning. We've been trying to get into a house, or we don't know what we're doing, you know. But hmm. I don't care anymore, you know. It's whatever the father wants to do. Hmm. I'm just tired of moving. <laughs> but yeah, that's funny, man. Well, you should look into those um, on the right options if you really want to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what we plan is, you know, we were looking at campers that maybe that, you know, they had some campers where it has like a, you know, people who, who race RVs or motorcycles mm -hmm. where like part of it is like for little vehicles like that. We thought about, you know, making that like into a little tool shop and stuff like that. But yeah. what we're going to, it's just that I have so much tools, so much stuff. And I'm thinking bringing it off. I'm like, you know, I don't have to bring it all. Yeah, I don't have to bring, something. what's that? Can you sell some of it? If you're going to go mobile, you wouldn't need such an extensive range of stuff, would you? Yeah, you no. Exactly. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. need, because, you know, I have like two, three sets of wrenches. It's nice to have, but I don't have to have, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can really narrow it down to basic tools, keep all my specialty tools, you know, all the special tools, I can keep those. But, you know, I don't need three roll benches. I don't need two chests of, you know, the box. I can really narrow it down to where, I could do what I need to get done and make the money that I need to make. And, you know, and then one thing you think about, it's not like you're going to have a rent. It's not like you're going to have, like, you know, like you do here. You're not going to have those kind of bills, the water bills. Yeah, so it's going to be manageable, you know, to where. Hmm. So, you know, we're, we're praying about it and we're just waiting for the right time, the right moment, hmm. you know, and... Hopefully, it'll well, he be soon. He definitely opens the doors if it's the way to go. Yeah. And we found that, yeah, when he's behind it, all the doors just open. Uh, when when it's not his time, and you think it is the right time, that's when you get the stress, and the, you know that's when you go through a, a spin cycle. <laughs> <laughs> spin cycle. Life's lessons. Yeah. And, um, the door closes really fast. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. Well, that's wonderful you got options like that. Mobile mechanic yeah. can make a fortune out there. Heaps of people are like, you know. Yeah. Man, hair dressing, that's... I mean... Yeah, well, all the old people come through and get their hair cut at the salon and say, mate, you're going to make a fortune out there because there's no hairdressers out there. Yeah. So My, my sister, she does hair. Mm -hmm. My sister, and she works at a really nice, mm -hmm. you know, salon where they do your nails and pedicures and all that mm. stuff yeah. so she's really into it she really does nice she really does nice hair you know and, and my brother <laughs> he 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 cuts the hair you know there's many curing hair and then there's cutting hair yeah. you know and he cuts hair and my sister gets mad you know i went to school and who does he think he is he can just cut hair you know <laughs> so she gets frustrated it's funny yeah but yeah, she she's high maintenance. <laughs> My sister is, yeah. yeah. But she she does she really takes her she really takes it seriously, you mm -hmm. know. She 
she really does a really nice job, you know, with hair and stuff like that. So yeah. she she does she makes good money doing it. Yeah. You know, so I do hair too. Yeah. Yeah. My own. Yeah. You know, real quick. Is that wax? <laughs> <laughs> Not three, not, you know, just a, one of those Mach 4 razors. <laughs> <laughs> like a surfboard. Wax. Yes. Yeah. Take the towel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Buff it up. But. Uh-huh. Mm. Well, that's, that's wonderful, pretty- mate. Yeah. yeah. It's lovely catching up with you. <laughs> yeah, likewise, man. It's good talking to you. I'm glad you guys are getting ready. We were wondering about that, you know, how far along you guys were to... Well, Amy and I are going to um, make a little short video like we did last time a few weeks ago um, so she can share what she's gone through and what, like, just how she's amazed at what you she's doing. Yeah. I thought, thought, well, a lot of people are responding to sort of us, I guess, because we just, what you see is what you get. We just say it. That's what I like about you, mate. You just, (laughs) that stuff you were saying about what you go through. (laughs) Young people need the truth. Young, yeah. people, young people don't need it sort of sugar coated, and they don't need to feel like you've got to keep everything together. Like, you know, they need real people to say, This is what we went through. Yeah. This is how we behaved. <laughs> this is how, this is all the things we stuffed up, you know. It's, uh, yeah. they need the truth so they can feel like they're not just nothing. They need encouragement. Like, well, it, it gets like that, you know. Sometimes you think that you're alone, and. Yep. And, and, you know, it's even hearing you talk about what you went through, you know, I was like, whew. <laughs> see, he did it too. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it, it's it's reality, you know, it's mm. it's what it is. Yeah. No, it's, dude, that video, seriously, that you and Amy did, yeah. man, I got the highest respect for you. Oh, thanks, man. Because... Balls of steel, I think you said. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Big cojones, man. <laughs> I, me and my wife were just like, and the part where I lost it was when you beat up your computer. <laughs> you know yeah. why? Because I did the exact same thing one time, brother. <laughs> Good crowbar. <laughs> oh, I lost it, man. I took the keyboard. We were still finding the letter Z <laughs> months later, the letter T up in the corner of the living room. <laughs> I mean, I was like, bah, bah. oh, man, it was just, I was like, wow, man. That's, but that right there, dude, that was, yeah, that was, yeah. I mean, it was beautiful. The song, you know, I was like, wow, that man's getting points, brother. <laughs> 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 I mean that—that yeah. that was a beautiful song, man. That you sang for your wife and thanks, man. Just the whole video all together was just—it mm. was real, you know. Yeah. Now we're gonna make the sequel. <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> That's so, funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, Amy, Amy has a sense of humor about her. It's funny. Yeah. At the end of the video, she's like, "Oh, I love you too." <laughs> I lost it, but that was so funny. <laughs> you were trying to be all serious and, re- <laughs> honey, I love you. Uh, you know, like real serious, and I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, wow, you feel it, and then she just busts out. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> 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 I, we, I mean, that was the, that was beautiful, man. That was perfect. Yeah. It's funny. She has a real. <laughs> I mean, her sense <laughs> was funny. But <laughs> and then the parts where you were you were asking her questions and she was like, "Oh, really? You want to go there, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I said, buddy. The, I mean, that was cool, man. Yeah. What's, yeah, the, yeah, buddy. You owe us a uh, a little bit on that sequel. <laughs> yeah. You, you need to put in there the part about your mother-in-law. <laughs> I saw that cut. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'm trying to remember. You started talking about the mother-in-law, and then all of a sudden you can, or your mom or something. Yeah. And I could just tell. 
where you edit it. <laughs> cut it out. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at the original now. <laughs> I'm sprung. Oh, man. No, that was good, though, man. It really was. It was. That blessed a lot of people, you That's know, cool. and yeah. it really did. And mm. for you to do that, man, that was just. Uh, I mean, you know, nobody. I mean, yeah, man, that took some serious cojones there. <laughs> it, it really did. And, but you know what, man? It was me and my wife were like, wow, you know? Because, you know, it's like, in a way, it was like watching ourselves, hearing mm -hmm. ourselves talk, you know? Yeah. It, it really was. Because it's like, with the things you've guys been through, it's, <laughs> it's like, we've been, you know, it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just us, you know? Yeah. And most people and, think it is just them. Yeah. Everybody else is so much more spiritual and righteous, and, yeah. <laughs> and it's, you know, they just That's came fun. into this and received Yahusha, and it was wonderful. And <laughs> they just, they just float everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And us, no, I'm, us disgusting sinners, <laughs> if you know. Yeah. No, that that was, that was, that was probably by far one of the best videos I've seen. Oh, that's good, mate. Yeah, it was. I mean, not that the other ones weren't good. Oh, fun. But, <laughs> but that was like real, you know? Yeah. That was. That was beyond soap opera. That was. Yeah. That was real, you know? And it was sincere. And it was like, man, that's. Mm. Even at the end, I was like, man, Teresa, you know, Reese, I'm sorry, baby, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, but that was good, man. I'm real. Part two's coming out, so yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Part two's gonna be what you should, how you, what you should wants from his wife, the relationship yeah. he wants. Yeah, so, yeah. Just that's real. So I'll get, I'll get that commercial out to you. Yeah, um, yeah. Do, have you ever heard of Dropbox? Yeah, I think we can do that way too. I mean, I don't know. I've never emailed. I mean, it's only going to be, what, 30, not even a minute. So I don't think it should be much of an issue emailing. Give it a go. Do yeah. See what you can do. So I'll email it if anything. I mean, we'll figure it out. It's no yeah. big deal. Yeah, so, no yeah. problem. So. So, I, gotta, I don't know, man. It's going to be hard beating up Constantine there. <laughs> that was funny and the monkey one dude yeah. that was like right on the money I did about 10 of them I only put up 2 to give you an example really? <laughs> yeah, there's that heaps them? more <laughs> did heaps more of them yeah so. that was funny man that was <laughs> how'd you kept a straight face for that long is beyond me I know but yeah we watched the, fir the first one we watched was the Dawes oh damn it I'm sitting here like, oh. <laughs> it was a bit strange that one, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I said, I'm gonna have to talk to that guy, Reese. I go, the man's playing with dolls. What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, then you redeemed yourself with the other two videos. I'm like, yeah, that's it. Okay, I got you. That was pretty good. We saw the monkey one next, and that was. Just that was funny, man. I we I we watched that like what we we watched like like ten times in a row. <laughs> you know that was good, man. My kids sat and watching. They were laughing, man. That was pretty good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that was pretty funny. And then I saw Lou White. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I saw Lou White posted it on Facebook. Yeah. Hey, they're live. <laughs> <laughs> they're live. I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! You know, I thought you might. I thought you were gonna cut out at the end where you started laughing. Yeah. But you kept it in there, and that I mean that makes the video. You know that. Just the whole thing. That was perfect, man. <laughs> that was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. But me and my wife Reese, man Hector, how are you gonna beat that? I'm like I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's a shame I already agreed to it. 
Uh, you know, so if I would have saw these videos, I would have said, no. Nah. Oh, come on. They took like two minutes to make those ones. <laughs> That's Easy. funny. Well, now that I got the webcam, it came with that software where it does that weird deal. Man, I wish I could get that to work. Oh, it's not going to do it. Because when that program opens up, it knocks Skype off. Yeah. Mm. So now I'm sure it'll probably hang. I don't know. I'll figure it out. You can tinker with it. Yeah. But love you guys. Hey, love you too, man. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your feast day. Likewise, man. You guys take care. and Can, can we pray? Yeah. Before we leave? Of course we can. Pray for you guys real quick, you know. And yeah, go for it. Father, I want to thank you for this time that we've had here to chat and talk. And, and Father, and to see how you're working in our lives and, you know, to see that we're human and, and it's real. And it, it's not about putting up a front or being people that we're not or pretending to be. And, Father, right now we pray for Mark and Amy and their family, Father, and we thank you for all that you're doing in their lives. Father, we pray that you give Mark the wisdom, the understanding, and the direction that he needs to take his family. Father, that you give him strength and the courage. Father, I pray your shalom over their family. I pray that you just reveal your Torah to them. And Father, that they just become more one with each other, Father, and we thank you, Father, because you've op you're opening up doors for them. You're, you, you're blessing them with a nice caravan and their business selling, Father. And it's good that we can see exciting things happening in our brother and sister's lives, Father. And we pray that you just forge the road ahead of them, Father, that you just keep ministering to them and bring people to their path that they can minister to, Father, that prepare their hearts so that their minds and eyes be open to you receive your truth. And we thank you, Father, because, I mean, to me, somebody on the other side of the world, it's just, you know, it's amazing. And uh, bless their ministry, Father, and, and everything. Father, bless everything that he puts his hand to. In Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. Oh, so be it, brother. Wonderful. Yeah. Feels drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that sign of Luca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be sure to tell Chris you love him now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brother, you guys take care of yourselves. Yeah, you too. And hey, uh, we'll keep it up. We'll be in touch. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Yeah. You guys take care. We'll keep praying for you guys. Thanks, mate. Love you. Love you too, man. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.